Hello farmers and gamers. In this Farming Simulator 25 guide, I'll show you quick tips to boost FPS and improve performance on any PC. First, we'll dive into optimizing the in-game settings for an immediate boost, and then we'll move on to adjusting Windows settings for even better performance. Let's get started. I assume everyone already has Farming Simulator 25 open, so let's go to Options and select the Display Settings tab. Here, we'll start by adjusting the initial settings to boost our FPS. For now, you can leave the hardware profile as recommended by the game based on your system specs. This should be suitable for most setups, but if the game is inaccurate, we'll make adjustments shortly. It's very important to set the screen resolution to match your monitor's native resolution. For example, my monitor displays in 2K, but most of you likely have full HD monitors, so 1920 by 1080 will be the right choice for you. However, if you're still experiencing FPS issues at this resolution, you can lower it further. This will definitely help improve performance. Leave resolution scaling at 100% for now. Just like with screen resolution, if you're still experiencing FPS issues, you can lower this setting, which will definitely help improve the game's smoothness, leave brightness, and in-game HUD scale at their default settings, as they don't impact your FPS. Now, press the spacebar to move to Advanced Graphic Settings. This is where we'll start adjusting the settings that have the biggest impact on gameplay. First, set the hardware profile to the lowest possible setting. This will be our baseline, but only use this setting in extreme cases if your computer is really struggling. The game will run smoothly, but it will look quite bad. As you can see, I've already adjusted the settings to get the most FPS possible. And now I'll walk you through what's been changed. Let's dive into each of these settings and see how they impact gameplay. Starting with the object draw distance section, this setting controls how far away you can see objects in the game. At 100%, you'll notice details from further away, but this can be hard on your PC. Lowering it makes objects pop in closer, which can help boost FPS. Similarly, foliage draw distance applies specifically to trees, grass, and other vegetation. Reducing this means that foliage only appears within a closer range, lightening the load on your graphics card. Then, there's LOD Distance, which adjusts the level of detail for distant objects. Lowering it makes objects appear simpler when they're far away, freeing up some performance while still looking good up close. Finally, Terrain LOD Distance affects how detailed the ground and landscape look at a distance. Lowering this won't impact gameplay, but will make far-off terrain slightly less sharp, which helps your game run more smoothly. Moving on to render quality, Resolution Scaling 3D is a key one. At 100%, the game renders at full quality, but lowering it can help performance if needed, though it may make graphics appear softer. Shader quality and shading rate affect the complexity of lighting and shadow effects, and setting these to low reduces GPU demand without impacting visuals much. Settings like screen space shading rate, reflections, and shadows can all be turned off. These are extra lighting effects that look nice, but can be very taxing on performance. Reducing SSAO quality to medium or low will adjust shadowing details around objects, improving FPS without a big hit to quality. For atmosphere quality, medium or low reduces the intensity of lighting and fog, but keeps the game visually appealing. In the new farming simulator, the fog effects are especially prominent as you've probably seen in the trailers. While they add to the game's atmosphere, they aren't essential for gameplay and do take a few FPS. Setting volumetric fog quality to low will keep a bit of that ambiance without the heavy performance impact. Cloud shadows, terrain quality, texture resolution, and texture filtering should be lowered to balance performance and detail. Texture settings mainly impact VRAM use, so they're particularly helpful on systems with limited graphics memory. For terrain quality, a medium setting offers a detailed landscape without overwhelming your system keeping the game visually appealing and smooth. Now, for texture resolution. Setting this to low is a smart move, especially if your system doesn't have a lot of VRAM. Lowering texture resolution means the game requires less memory to load textures, so you get better performance without sacrificing the basic appearance of objects. And finally, texture filtering. By choosing bilinear, you'll get just enough clarity and textures without a big impact on FPS. This setting provides basic detail without demanding too much from your system. 
making it a good choice if you're aiming for smooth gameplay without compromising too much on visuals. With these tweaks, you'll be able to enjoy Farming Simulator with solid performance and a balanced look that keeps the gameplay immersive. In the Light Quality section, reducing light quality to low decreases the complexity of lighting effects. Lens flare quality can be turned off, as it's mostly a cosmetic effect. Shadow quality and shadow distance quality at medium maintain decent shadows without draining performance. Keeping soft shadows on makes shadows look natural without a big FPS hit, while shadow map filtering should stay on low to save resources. Under settings, turning off foliage shadows and realistic beacon lights removes extra visual effects that can impact performance. Setting field of view to 70 for both first and third person keeps your view optimized. Lowering max shadow lights to one and setting max mirrors to zero reduces the demand on your system by limiting light sources and reflections. Max tire tracks can be set to 50 or lower, while mesh tessellation volume can stay at 100 for good visual quality, unless you need more FPS. Finally, in post-process anti-aliasing, disabling multi-sampling and post-process anti-aliasing prevents FPS drops caused by smoothness effects. If you're playing in 2K or 4K, Fidelity FX Super Resolution or DLSS can help by upscaling visuals, though these won't impact lower resolutions. Intel ZSS is better left off for most setups, as it's primarily useful at high resolutions, but can be taxing. With all these adjustments, you should see much better performance while keeping a balance in visual quality. Remember, every computer is unique, and these tweaks are a starting point. You may need to experiment to find the best combination for your setup. Now, I'll show you a trick that can unlock your FPS to unlimited values. If you have the game on Steam, start by right-clicking on it in your library then select Properties. Go to Installed Files and click Browse. Once you're in the game's files, locate the file named game.xml. Right-click on it, choose Open With, and select any text editor. In this file, look for the Development section. Under it, find the Control subsection and set it to True. This adjustment will allow you to push your FPS beyond any preset limits, giving you extra freedom to maximize performance. After you restart the game, press the F3 key. This worked in the previous farming simulator and was helpful for keeping FPS unbounded, so it's worth giving a try here too. In Windows, we can also try toggling game mode on or off, though personally, I haven't noticed a big difference in how games perform with it. To do this, type game mode in the search bar and select game mode settings. From there, you can turn it on or off to see if it helps with your setup. Another tweak that can boost performance is adjusting your power settings. Type Edit Power Options in the search bar, and then choose High Performance Mode. This setting prioritizes performance, which can sometimes make a noticeable difference in gaming smoothness. Keep in mind that every computer is different, with various programs and background processes that can impact how the game and system perform. Because of this, it's always best to experiment with these settings and find the ones that work best for your specific setup. Testing by trial and error will help you discover the perfect balance for smoother gameplay tailored to your PC.